Hi. I got mail. I'm Bob, and I collect stamps. So, uh, I got I have been buying some individual stamps, and I got a wonderful postcard from Slovenia. My second from Slovenia. Got a couple from Russia too. I've been sending them all over the place. I got 2,000 U.S. stamps. I don't know why I ordered 2,000 U.S. stamps. I certainly don't need them. I uh, got another oh, 6,000 world stamps. I'm playing with those. If you listen to my podcast about my philatelic resolutions, I said one of them was to be more targeted in my buying. Ain't happening. I am a little bit. I, I just, you know, these are, these are actually targeted uh, buys. But I got this. I, I know what's in here, but I don't know what's in here. A friend of mine from high school remembered that I collected stamps. A friend of his was getting rid of his childhood stamp book and asked my friend about it. Dave said, I know someone. And I just got it yesterday. And I've waited 24 hours. This is heartbreaking. So I'm opening this. Uh, hi, Dave. This is the first of my videos, I think, that Dave's, Dave will have watched. So I'm going to open this. I don't. I know it's an album. And he told me a little bit about it, but not much. Um, I don't expect much. Because it was compiled as a childhood album. But we'll see what it is. I've... I want to talk about albums today. I've got my albums out and my album albums, and um, I'll to talk about those. Oh, this is one I've not seen before that I remember. I may have seen it online or something for sale, but a Traveler stamp album. That's kind of cool. And this is Postage Stamps of the World, Harris Company stamps. Not a whole lot. Some of the usual suspects. My friend said that the Stamps were stamped or stuck to the pages. No, they're not. They're hinged. Cool stuff. Some common issues, but you know, some not. And I don't know what somebody else would value this at. I value it highly. This is really cool. There's a 19 for Guatemala 1940 overprint. Oh, I almost bought that one today. Almost bought that today, too. Uh, yeah, this is a cool album. Uh, I think at least for now, I'm just going to leave it like it is. I'll eventually catalog the stamps and put them in my software, which is a topic for another thing. But my new Traveler al album, I like it. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, friend, too. I think those are cool stamps. They're put in there properly. When I started stamp collecting, I got two stamp albums. I got this one, Ambassador Stamp Album, and I got... A Minuteman stamp album. Now, this is a replacement for that Minuteman stamp album. The old cover disintegrated at some point of use, uh, and I added a bunch of supplements. Uh, but that repl that is a continuation. The pages are the same, just a different binder. This is, I think, the original binder for the Ambassador album. These two you can't get anymore. But this is this is my first worldwide album and I've got a lot in here there put in by they're put in by hinges careful with the cover there I'll show you my minute and an album as well albums are really to your taste why should you get an album you don't have to you don't have to at all you can make your own you can do your, like I've been doing stock books let me show you on this one this is my US album and this is page one of my Minute Man, Man album. There is a stamp here. Isn't that cool? Number 26. This is this is the earliest U.S. stamp I have at the moment. Don't have a lot. Pre-1900. A lot of stuff. Some are some are used, some are some are mint. I think this is my earliest full page. Of this, the overrun countries issue. I've got three or four sets of those mint and used. The album allows you to 
see what stamps are there, show you the, usually show you the picture of the stamp. Um, there's one that's not full. Shows you, in many cases, shows you a picture of the stamp. Not all albums have this. Uh, this one does. Also tells you what the issue is. Tells you the Scott numbers right in there, so you can just look them up and put them in. And it tells you a little bit about the stamp, stamp series. And so it's a little more than just putting them in a stock book with a number. Some people like it. Most stamp collectors do. And you can read about the stamps. You get information about them. Much of this information, this is from the Scott Company, much of this information is not found in a catalog. The number is, the picture might be, it's not, but the information below the stamp, the information about the stamp is not in that. Now this one doesn't have much, any information about the stamp, it just has a picture. But then you has got number, but it's a Harris album, so it would cost them more money. This being a Scott Minutemen album, it has the Scott number, but you don't have to have one. It's kind of nice. You don't have to, you know, you get a little information, a little history, a little, and it's a way to turn yourself from a collector to a philatelist. Philatelist is one who studies stamps. I'm sort of in, moving in between. I moved from a hoarder or accumulator where I just had buckets of stamps. And I moved into collector, putting things in albums, organizing my stamp book, finding out what I have. Still, you know, it'll take a couple more years. Find out just what I had. Uh, I'm not optimistic about ever finding exactly what I have. But that's a, that's a collector. And then learning about the stamps is philately. Learning what's on them. I do a little investigation if it doesn't have a name on the stamp. Finding out what the country is. There are some stamps that don't have a name. Most of them are the UK. So I also have two other worldwide albums. This one is the new worldwide stamp album. It apparently replaced the Ambassador, which is moving here. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure when they came out. This is similar. It doesn't have Scott numbers in it. It has pictures. This particular one was bought and not much used. I have so, some salon stamps there, uh, Great Britain. It was inexpensive at the time. I may have got it used, but I wanted things in albums at that point. I still kind of do. I like my U.S. I want to fill that as much as possible. I'll never get a one. I'll never get it. Probably never get a two. But who knows? Um, this one I used more more often. This is another Harris. This is the Senior Statesman World Album. Again, I don't know if they still make them. I haven't paid much attention to the album market lately. I just I I had looked for some Minuteman pages and some Ambassador update pages and couldn't find them except for the Minuteman pages were the cost of the album, more than the cost of the album for a single year. Not going to do that. This one has a few more stamps than the other, but it's just got some stamps in. It doesn't say anything about the stamps. So nothing. It says here uh, at the top of the page, it says... Semi-postal stamps, Indonesia, 1960 to 1966. This one says Indonesia postage and semi-postal stamps. So that's all it's, uh, you know, that's, it's, it has the years on here, uh, which is good information, but it's hardly Minuteman. But you can't really expect them to do it for the world. You can wish, but, you know, if wishes were horses, Beggars would ride. Is that the quote? I think that's the quote. I want to show you my other album. Now, this one is an extremely simple album. And it's not commercial. The pages are sort of commercial. The pages are quadruple pages. Archive quality. I have additionally 
put them in sheet protectors, archive quality sheet protectors. That may or may not be a good idea. Please ask me about it. This is my butterfly collection. And for the most part, I just wanted them together. So, and I wanted to do it. This is all handwritten. Um, this is a page of Burundi stamps. And all I've done at, underneath it is put the Scott number and the butterfly on the stamp. I'll be right back because someone's delivering something to me. Back again. Someone was at the door. It was an Amazon delivery. I'll unbox this too because it's stamp related. Not stamps though. It's not an album either. More glassing envelopes. You either need a thousand, you buy a thousand and it lasts you a, a, a lifetime, or you need a hundred every week. I don't need a hundred every week, fortunately, but I needed a hundred right now to organize this. Stupid, stupid, stupid. It's my collection. I can do what I want, just like you can. So that's about it. Use an album if you want to. It's fun to look at, you know, look at one if you don't have one. It, you don't have to. Um, you can make your own like I did. I keep most of my stamps in stock books. You can use any kind of stock book you want. Do it your way. So what do you do if you're looking for an album? Try to look at several. You've seen some of the differences in mine just by looking over my shoulder. But look for ones that are compatible with what you want to do. They have the stuff you want. Is it expandable? Can you get extra binders for it? Can you get extra pages for it? As I mentioned, sometimes the expansion pages can be more expensive than the album itself. If you want to keep it up to date, if it's a single country, make sure you can get the pages. Get some blank pages when you get the album, just to make sure that'll always help. Does it have the information you want in it? Does it have Scott numbers or Minkus numbers or somebody else's numbers, Stanley Gibbons, whoever's numbers you want to use? Does it have pictures? What does it have in it? Does it have the other information like the Minuteman, which has a little bit about the stamp and a little bit the series and all that sort of stuff? Is it affordable? Can you afford it? Can you afford it now? Can you afford it going forward? I don't suggest getting a $20 album now and then hating it for the rest of your life or having to move stamps around. That's not a good thing. But don't get bogged down with having to get a $45,000 album that purports to have every stamp in it in the world. You don't need that much room. You may have enough stamps at some point. You're not going to have all the stamps of the world. So do what you need to do, but don't overspend. You can get a nice, really good album for under $100. Pretty good album, probably for under $50. Again, I have not gone album shopping, but I think those are correct numbers. So, do what you want to do. Enjoy. And meantime... All right, keep collecting. Collect what you want. Don't follow anybody else's rules, except have fun and take care of yourself and your stamps. Thanks for watching. Stupid.